Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Carolina Girl Reese. Sarisa here. Hello my friends, <clears throat> my subscribers, faithful ones, Reese buddies. Welcome. Welcome any newbies for stopping on my channel. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope if you'll like this video uh, that you'll, you know, come back. If you don't like this one, I always tell my newbies there may be one you do like. So everybody welcome today. So glad to be share another video with you and today i'm still on christmas but today i'm going to be making a little fun festive wreath um i'll switch it up a little bit so i just want to get this out of the way though how's everybody hope everybody's okay um it's a good day it's a good day everyone no matter what's going on I always remember it's a good day okay so I'm going to be today working with just, we're going to be doing, and yes, you help me, be doing a little elf theme wreath. I got my little elf hat here. I'll put that on for you. <laughs> but just got my hair done. <clears throat> but anyway, this here, and I found these little cute elf legs. We're going to work with just them two instead of a sign. And then I'm going to have some decor, of course. I've got some lollipops and some candy canes, jingle bells, and a few snowflakes. We'll see what I come up with, okay? So you're going to need, though, your faithful Dollar Tree frame, everyone. And I've got her all ready and pop cleanered up. And I've kind of switched my colors up a little bit. I like doing that. <laughs> it's just myself. I'm weird, I know. <laughs> but we're going to be doing ruffles and double curls. I love this. my favorite method, I think, because it really does make a full wreath. And I have a tutorial on how to do um, place your pipe cleaners on a wreath form for cruffles. But I'll just show you right quick, and I'm going to be working by sections. I like that doing that, too. I think I found that better. I get done quicker. But seems like it anyway. But all we're doing is each section. I have a pipe cleaner in the center a section not the not the crossbars in the center on the inside two rings and then I've got on the outside two rings in each section two and they're kind of about three to four inches apart just and they don't have to be perfectly just just so you got something like that there okay so there's a wreath form for today I'm going to be working with uh just green and just the red pretty Christmas colors deco mesh Okay, craft outlet. You can find this stuff anywhere, though. This is my favorite mesh, though, the deco mesh. I, I love it. And then for our curls, I'm going to be using um, some of this red and white. I thought that'd be pretty to add in a little bit. With the green and red. I've got some green and red for curls, too. And then and the ribbons is green. And any of my uh, faithful ones, remember, do you remember seeing this ribbon before? <laughs> Yeah, that old ugly green bow I made. <laughs> I'm never going to forget that. But anyway, I'm going to be using this today. And some, let's see, big red polka with her. And then I've got the baby polka. And I'm going to add a little candy stripe. Okay? So that's all I really need today to do our little project. Um... So there again, I thank you for being with me. Okay, and we're going to get started. If you've never done a cruffle, I'm going to be working by sections. I've cut, you'll need 18. Let's see, and I, and I forgot to tell you. 18 pipe cleaners total. Oh, not cruffles. Forgive me, guys. See, I'm already doing it. <laughs> I'm already doing it. Guys, I'm not, I can't help it. I can't change in some areas, okay? But we're doing ruffles ruffles today just ruffles ruffles and curls okay no cruffles today so for your ruffles i've cut them at 20 inches long 20 inches it's a good size okay so okay here we go okay so for the ruffles you just you must never done one but i'm sure most of you have but if you're a newbie in hatton here you go curly side down and put your little something on it to hold it down you may not need to, but in most cases, you know, it'll come up on you if you don't, so that helps. I just barely tape mine here. You don't have to, 
but I kind of turned mine under the end. It's just something I've always done. Kind of helps too on that fraying, but you don't have to do it, okay? Take your fingers and thumbs here together in the middle like a dam and scratch it up to you. And just pull it to you and scratch it. Okay, and there you go. Just want to turn the ends under is what I do when I get through that end. Okay, and there's your first ruffle. Okay, and we it can even come a bow tie. So I'm going to put her in a section. I'm going to be working sections, remember. I'm going to do a couple sections for you. Or we're going to do it together. Okay, so I'm just going to place her up here in... Start anywhere you want in that section, but I usually go to the inside and work out. A few twists. Okay. Then I'm going to take my next color, be red. I've got, got uh, mesh everywhere, guys. If you could see this table, I always say this, but you wouldn't believe it. I'm no organizer. I've got stuff on top of each other. And no matter how big this table is, it just ain't big enough. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay, so we're going to do our next ruffle. Okay. And like I say, turn up the hem. You don't have to. It does help a little bit on that fraying, though, on the ends. Okay, same thing. Stretch it up. Next one, I'm going to put it same section. <clears throat> Alrighty. There we go. We're still in the same section, okay? So there's two of our ruffles. Okay, so I'm going to add the next one. So I'm going to rotate back to green. Now this is the way I'm making this wreath, guys. But you can use any, you can use one color. You choose your own thing, okay? So, I do have something I want to share with you guys. Anybody? Well, I know newbies. I'm sorry if I, when it comes to that, if you're not interested in hearing, that's fine. I understand. Um. But I hope you'll come back. But my faithful ones have followed me from day one and all. And my friends and buddies here have made. I do want to share something with you at the end here. Um, I've just got something I need to tell you. Okay. So we're going to put this in the same section. Okay. It's hard for me to do sometimes. Okay. So there we go. We've got our three ruffles in that one section. Okay. Alrighty. Then we're going to go on. And when I say I'm working with one section, I'm going to go ahead and do, so to speak, the old bird. Kill two birds with one stone. Of course, I wouldn't want to do that. But that's what we say sometimes if you've ever heard that. Um, I'm going to take a, okay, in my green here, I'm going to put a red ruffle, a red curl. Okay, all curls are cut at 10 inches. I'm going with the red. Okay. And I'm going to stick her in my Odebra here while I get the other one done. That's why I like her. If you don't have a Odebra, a clip will be fine. Okay. And then we're going to put this little... Okay, the striped red and white one and I like the stripes that they're kind of little in this kind of small I mean okay there we go you could even make up your curls ahead of time for this you know your ruffles too you know you clip a lot of them or whatever but you can do it okay I'm just gonna put them in here
right in there to make mine stand up. I just take my, go down to the end of my pipe cleaner, scrunch it together, or whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, now I'm going to go to the green, and, and I'm going to put in another red one. Um, let's see. Red, and then there's my other curls, okay. And I think this time I'm going to use a, I really don't want to overpower with the white. Let's see, I'm thinking. What do you guys think? I wish she was here to tell me. But I don't know. Maybe just try and see. I can always change it. can always change it. When I had ordered my Chris, uh, my last batch of stuff y'all saw online that I shared with you from Craft Outlet, I didn't realize I didn't order me no green at all ribbon. So, thank goodness I found that old ugly green, oh, ugly green, oh, I mean, not ugly, but the pretty green ribbon that I had that made the ugly bow with. I'm so glad I had it <laughs> to use today. Okay. Okay, now I'm down the red here I'm going to. I'm going to use my green, green curl. Like I said, if I see at the end of that, white's over pairing it too much then I'll change and just put green and red in some of them but okay and here we go I hope y'all's weather's doing pretty where you are and that you're feeling more like fall now and you're liking it I am I've been taking my granddaughter Leah to school a few mornings because my daughter's not been feeling well and and I, I don't want to live about, it takes me about 15 minutes to get there. I don't mind it. I mean, that's what we do, right? That's what we do for our children. And when we can't, when you know, you know, y'all know what I mean. And, uh, let's see. When I went there this morning, I, you guys see what I got on here, sleeveless. Um, uh, I get hot nature. I'm hot nature too. So I loved it. I just loved it. And I'm hoping that we really stay that way soon. The fall. So, yes. <laughs> okay. So, now, here we go. There they are. That might work. I think it's going to be okay. I don't want the white overpower, you know, but I think we'll have enough green and red on it to be okay. So, now we're going to do our ribbons. And let's see, taking the, the green here. And the red. I'm going to start on the inside. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to take the baby polka. And this here on my inside. Okay. Let's put it right in here. Okay. I'm a little tickled today. I actually sewed two wreaths yesterday. So I'm picking up a little bit. Thank God for that. And if you can remember, I sold my big school head one. I had a sugar school head. I sold it. And I sold, oh, my magical pumpkin. If y'all can remember the magical pumpkin where Puff the Magic Dragon, I talked about him. And, you know, the pumpkin had all them pretty colors. I sold that one. I was so tickled. I mean, because like I say, every little bit helps. And so I'm, I was so I'm thankful. I'm thankful for every little bit, guys. Okay, so there's there's my inside one and two. Okay, now on the outside, I'm putting the big green and the big red polka. And I'm going to do that all the way on the outside. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. I mean, I know you can't. My thumb is really acting up today. I haven't taken my Advil yet, and I've taken too many of them. But I'm not quitting, though. I'm not quitting doing this. 
do it as long as I can. <laughs> Other two on and show you. <laughs> Guys, I gotta tell you this too. I mean, I know some of you, anybody new, I don't mean to bore you. I'm just me. I'm sorry. I'm not acting. I'm not trying to be. I'm just who I am, and I'm decided I'm gonna stay that way. I mean, because you are who you are, and I want everybody to be who they are. I mean, right? And and so, you know, I just, I just am. I'm, I'm me. <laughs> and I love people. I do. And I love sharing things. And, and I try to bring a little humor sometimes in people's lives. Uh, my family, they call me the, I'm the entertainer in the family, but. But, but see, I don't mean to be. It just comes out. <laughs> just, but this morning, I, I got to tell y'all guys what I've been doing this morning. When I got back from taking Leah to school, you know, of course, it was about 8 o'clock, a little bit after then and all. And, and I was in there in the kitchen getting me my coffee and all and stuff, situated. And, you know, I looked up the window, and I should be used to this by now, but I'm not. But and all of a sudden, I went, all of a sudden, I went like, I went, ah! And I said, it's you again. Blame squirrel back. The squirrels people are eating my bird seed, my chicken feed. I mean, we got tons of them. And I know you up north people, you probably have, you know, but I, ha I have a lot of woods around my house. And like, and I I'm, I'm literally telling you one time, I, I killed them from my back porch. And it was probably about 12 or more at one time. And my dog, he's he, Jake, he's getting lazy in his old age, but... <laughs> But, you know, he usually goes after him. Well, he just laid there this morning. All I had used to do was say squirrel. He'd get him go. But he wouldn't this morning, so I went out there in my broom. <laughs> it's the same thing, man. I was, them, them squirrels, I was just, you know, just got on my trash can. And, stuff. and I said, you all quit eating my bird feed. But anyway, this wreath maker here was out chasing squirrels for, for quite a while. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> so... Okay, so here she is, the first section. That's how she's going to look when we get her all done. Okay, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish her up all around. See there, they've got one section done, five to go. Okay, and I thank you everybody for being with me today. Okay, be back in a few. Okay, everyone, so what do you think? There she is, I'll finish section by section. And I thought the white and red was going to be too much white kind of in her, but I think it balanced out pretty good. I hope you guys like her. So there she is, the full ruffles with the double curls. Makes a pretty good 25 inch wreath when you do one this way. Okay, so now I'm going to add my little touches of the um, little little elf feet, legs, okay? And let's see here. I'm just going to find me a place here. I'm going to put this in on the door for you guys today. But first of all, I try to work on my board back here. My make-believe little door. I wouldn't want to hurt my hub husband's feelings. <laughs> but anyhow, just um, I do have to put it there sometimes for me to get everything I want arranged. And I think I'm going to put it on my door for you. My big door for you. So there again, I'm thanking everybody for joining me today. Okay, so these little things here, the little, they're so cute. I've just got me a zip tie found. Or you can use a pipe cleaner. And let's see how they go here, okay. First of all, I'm going to get my pipe cleaner inserted, and I do better like that. I'm just going to go down here somewhere. Let's see. I'm kind of going to stick it, maybe, look, just do some, the ruffle, the, uh, like maybe one of the ruffles or the curls, just somewhere you can get it in. You can use a pipe cleaner, either one. I always get these things in backwards. 
I'm just going to feed it through the legs, through the top of the legs. I don't know how that's going to do, but... Because I think the little hanger, piece of hanger there might be too long. I'm just going to feed her in the... Okay, and I'll, I'll have to put her on the drawer to see how I've got her. I got them. Got them little elf legs. I'll have to, guys, because I can't, I can't do good looking down at something. I've told y'all that. You know that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut my zip tie off. So that's how I put these in. I try not to glue unless I have to. Okay, now I'm going to be doing a few jingle bells. So my little hat's going to go on. A little hat here and maybe I'm going to probably use some of these little candy canes and a jingle bell so tell you what you know let me just get her up on my door right here so I can work on her there and get her all put together for you okay thank you for staying with me be right back okay everyone what you think what you think about her Colorful, Christmassy colors, red and green. She's full. You can see I put my little elf hat up top. I got some little candy swirl suckers and a few candy canes around her. I got my jingle bells, if you can see them on the ribbons. They really jingle, so you can hear them jingle sometimes. And then there's a the little elf, the little legs to her. So, she's a strange little elf, but she's cute, ain't she? <laughs> so I hope y'all really like her. It's a little different. Like I say, I try to make my wrist a little unique. I didn't have a little elf doll. I need to get me one, but the little hat and the legs, I thought that was cute. And, and like I say, the name of my store is uh, Teresa's Unique and Affordable Reese. You'll find my link on my channel if you're ever interested in looking what I have. I'm going to be posting this one later. Okay, so I'm going to put her on the door. Okay, y'all, here she is on my real door. <laughs> you can see her now. I don't know why I ever thought of this before. You know, I was doing some of my door a while back in here. But for some, well, like I said, you have to know me. There's nothing wrong with me, like I tell everybody. I'm just... I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. But anyway, now I've got it to where I'm show you on my door. Because there's some things I didn't know how to work about when I went to video and all. So, but anyhow, I do hope someone will like this. If you do, please, please share my videos. I appreciate it so much. For some reason, I'm not getting a lot of views. I, it's not so much that I'm not worried about money wise and stuff or making it big I just I just wonder if I'm that bad but <laughs> I don't know I I just like to share things and I just wish I knew what I was doing wrong but anyhow the ones I do have I love you guys every one of you made some special friendships and just I've been all over the USA now <laughs> but there's a little elf hat hat she makes up for my sign. Candy canes, the jingle bells, my little suckers, little swirl suckers. I just got them stuck in there. My jingle bells, if anybody wants to know, I just took my pipe cleaner where my bows are. I had enough left on when I cut them, so I pulled them back around and just put it through this little opening in my jingle bell and twisted it in. My candy canes has got a touch of glue on the end. Just a tad. The little feet, you, the legs was put in with a zip tie. So there we go. There's my fun Christmas elf elf wreath made with the ruffles and double curls, a section at a time. So guys, I hope you like her. I hope you like her. Okay, so let me get back out here, tell you goodbye. I have something to let you know. Be right back. Okay, guys, I just want to um, 
And any newbies, if you're, you're, you're probably not familiar with all this, my, the ones that's followed me from the beginning, they know what, well, what I'm saying is, if, you, if you're new watching me, don't, don't have to bore yourself with hearing this. It's okay. I understand. And, but please come back. But my faithful ones from day one, the ones I've every day talked to now, have been supporting me from day one now. I've been on here now almost, let's see, I started doing this um, almost six months now. Wow. I thought I could never do it, and I was nervous, and I, and I still am. And I try, and I'm, th I'm grateful that I've been able to make some people smile or maybe laugh. I don't try to either. That's the thing. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just really so thankful and have met some really dear good friends. Excuse me, my nose itching. <clears throat> but I just want to share with you all, and I was going to wait and hold off some, but I'm just going to go ahead now because October 31st, well, and we're still having our giveaway. That's still going on. It's, it's still going on, and by the way, if you, you know, hadn't read my rules, or those of you that asked me, asked me to pitch in the pot for October's giveaway, you're there. <clears throat> so anybody else that hadn't, just read my rules, please, and you know what to do, okay? But October 31st is going to be my last day making wreaths, and, well... I hope some of y'all miss me, but listen, I'm not gone for good, okay? I'm not gone for good unless the Lord calls me home. I'm coming back. Um, I'm having some surgery done November 2nd. And it's no major surgery, because I know many people have that in their lives, and many people, I mean, how do I want to put it? I'm no special than nobody else, but I've, I've been hurt a long time with this here. And I know you probably can tell it on camera. And I'm left-handed, and y'all don't see me offline, but I'm getting where I can't grip things. I can't open things. I can't even do the front door, turn the knob. I know I got this hand, but I'm left-handed, which some things I need both hands for. So what I'm getting at, and make it short, story long, if you're not familiar with what they're gonna do, it's awesome what they can do today. I had this one done about five years ago, and I had to wait your make race. It made me sad, but I didn't have a channel then. That's when I was learning and making those unbelievable ones. I had to cut them the way. <laughs> but anyhow, they x-rayed this one another week, and it's gotten so bad, it's full of arthritis. And if you can see, I was trying to, just right quick, I mean, well, it's got that big hump, and a lump there. It's full of stuff. It's full of stuff, and you see my old age marks too. <laughs> but anyhow, um, I'm taking way too many Advil. I mean, I'm starting bleed. I had started bleeding about that, and that scared me. My doctor said no, no. I was taking, honestly, guys, I was taking it to maybe 12 a day, because, and I know that don't seem like something like this would hurt. But it does. I, I just can't explain it unless you've had. But and you know sometimes it's the little things that do hurt us and we take it for granted. So what it is, I'm not gonna be able to do um, anything because just like this one, they put something on me for a while where she goes in and cuts. And I'll tell you briefly, it's amazing. She goes in, she cuts it open here, and you can't even tell on this hand. Well, you can't see on camera, but. She cuts it open, she scrapes that stuff out, and she, somehow or another, there's a little hole down here. She goes in and pulls up some kind of ligament. I mean, seriously, if I knew the name of this, right, I'd tell you to look to Google it, because it's true. And just like this one's got like a bone in it now, she took something a piece of it and made me a hard as a rock, but it don't hurt. And this one, it's gonna be done like that. So, I wanted to wait until the first of the year, because I love Christmas and all, and I wanted to share That's why I've been hustling, trying to get some Christmas wreaths done and share what I can. But my husband's retiring at the end, you know. I think it's the same. My entrance, I'm not going to have none then. So that's what I'm trying to do is get this done while I still can. And But listen, if it's okay, I want to tell you guys, I'll be on here. I'm going to show maybe... 
let me know guys if it's okay i'd like to maybe share some stuff with you how i'm doing um how you all are doing i want to know i don't want to lose touch with you my friends i don't want to i know it's youtube but it's for sharing right and maybe i know for six weeks i won't be doing you know i won't be doing you know and so anyway just maybe i can take the you know, tour of my well I have to I have to fix it up before I go because I can't clean it. But the main thing is, you know, um, let's just say I'm gonna miss you guys every day doing a tutorial for you. But please don't leave me, newbies, my friends, subscribers. Like I said, unless the Lord calls me home between now and when I go back to wreathing, I be here. So I just want to share that with you. I'm going to share it now because it'll be here for you know it. And I'm just tired of hurting in my hand there. And I, I feel bad knowing somebody out there might be hurting today. And I know worse than me. And I pray God will help them too and relieve their pain. But, you know, like I say, I, it wouldn't, to, to me, it's not a big major thing and it's not a major surgery, but. Yeah, I hurt a lot. I cry with it. I, you know, unless you have something like somebody has, you don't really know the pain they're they're experiencing. So anyhow, guys, I'll be back, and I'm not through now. I'm going to be doing my last my wreath, Christmas wreath, up until October 31st. We're going to have that drawn too. And a matter of fact, we're going to have November drawn, and these, we're going to have the giveaways. I'm not quitting them. I still appreciate y'all supporting me. It means a lot to me. So we're still going to have them. I'll get on here November, December, and we'll have those giveaways. I'll tell you about them. And so I just want to share. Okay. So thank you for today, being with me today. And I hope that whatever you're doing, wherever you're headed, if you're out, if you're be safe, take care of yourself. Um, I can say all kinds of stuff, but most of all is I love you and care about each and every one of you. If this is the way God can use me, then so be it. And, but anyway, didn't mean to bore you with all that. So I hope you like my wreath today. And between babysitting my little Mason, I love him, but it gets rough, you know, it does, and then for a while I won't be able to do that, so, but anyhow, you know, I'm trying to get these recent because I want to, I want to share, and I, I love you all, every one of you, you know who you are, and if any newbie stayed with me here or watching this, you can be my friend too. I feel the same way about you. So just, so everybody just have a great afternoon. Like I always say, till next time.